hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to teach you how you can create a, this type of beautiful order detail page inside your android app using constraint layout so the video is going to be more important and before start please I request you to subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos and guys we are not only content creators we are a software agency we have coding experts so if you have any query about android apps development website development shopify api integration or you want to develop your own e-commerce store you can contact with us to our email we are here to provide you these services let's start so first of all i have created a simple android studio project and now i have to create a view here so type here view width match parent height 250 dp forward slash next you have to open the colors.xml to open the color.xml click on resource folder values and color.xml and here we have to copy this color code and paste this to the purple underscore 500 and 200 also next we have to just copy this tag and paste here and name this color primary light and we have to convert this color from dark to light i have choose this color you can choose color according to your desire close the color.xml and now we have to design the background for our view right click on drivable new and select drivable resource file and name this bg view press ok button change this selector to shape and type here corner and its radius would be 20 db next type here solid and draw it colon color and here give the value at the rate of color forward slash purple underscore 700 put forward slash and you have to do a little bit changes here we have to set and draw it radius bottom left to 20 db and radius bottom right to 20 db that's it now open activity underscore main and here type and draw it colon background at the rate of drivable you can see it is giving me a suggestion so just select the first option bg underscore view so it have give a beautiful background to our view and its lower bottom corners are rounded we can increase their radius like i'm going to change them from 20 to 30 dp it will increase the beauty of our user interface next click on design and search here card view and drag and drop this at this position give height 150 dp or 120 dp and before this make sure your top level layout would be a constraint layout i was converted this into a coordinate layout in my previous project but now i have changed this to constraint layout next you can see it is giving me an, an error because we have not constrained our view and our card view so first of all i have to constrain our view constrain it horizontally by selecting this option drag and drop this card view here and constraint this view to the top of the parent and next we have to constrain our card view with the bottom of our view and again constrain it at this position actually it will make your card view exactly at the center of your view now we have to constrain it with the right and constrain it to the left and give margin right 32 dp select 32 dp and margin left also 32 dp click on split and here type card corner radius to 12 dp card elevation 12 dp the card corner radius will rounded your corner of your card and the elevation property will give a shadow to your card the more you will increase the value of card elevation the more your shadow will be increased next remove this forward slash at the end of your card view tag and put press enter and again type angle bracket here so i have add opening and closing tag of my card view and inside this we have to put some views the data that we want to display to our user next click on the design and drag and drop a text view here constrain it just follow me like i'm constraining this text view you have to do the same thing i will zoom my screen a little bit so i can design with more perfection and now give margin bottom to 16 dp and search here text color to white text style to bold text size to 24 sp or 20 sp and type here text give a random address here like kohenur plaza near d ground faisalabad so i just have type a random address here and next you have to constrain your this text view with the right side and also give margin right to third 24 dp that's it and you have to convert the width of this text view to match parent you can also constrain this text view with the right side of your parent and give margin left to 32 dp and give margin right 
टू थर्टी टू डी पी नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू प्लेस अ टेक्स्ट व्यू हेयर फॉर आवर नेम सो ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप अ टेक्स्ट व्यू हेयर एंड नाउ अगेन कंस्ट्रेंट इट विद टॉप ऑफ आवर एड्रेस टेक्स व्यू कंस्ट्रेंट राइट कंस्ट्रेंट लेफ्ट गिव मार्जिन बॉटम गिव मार्जिन बॉटम टू एट डी पी एंड कन्वर्ट इट्स विद फ्रॉम रेप कंटेंट टू मैच पेरेंट एंड नेक्स्ट गिव मार्जिन राइट एंड लेफ्ट टू थर्टी टू डी पी एंड टाइप हेयर टेक्सट लाइक मोहम्मद अब्दुल्ला दैट्स इट and its text color would be white type here white and next search here text size and select 20 sp and type here text style and select bold apply that's it next we have to place a text view here for our order id so just drag and drop a text view here and search here text color and turn this text color to white and constrain it with the right and left side and give its width match parent margin right and left 32 dp uh, sorry friends we have to convert the width of this text view to wrap content and remove this constraint right constraint it at this position and give margin bottom to 8 dp or 16 dp enter a text here id so i am going to type a random id here next we have to design a background for our this text view again right click on drivable new select drivable resource file and search here bg underscore id view press ok button you give you can give any name to your file and type here shape and next solid color and type here color primary light next friends type here corners and give corner radius to 20 dp put forward slash at the end and again open your activity underscore main and select your id and search here android colon background and search here at the rate of drivable bg id underscore view so that's it it's looking a pretty good but we have to add some more line of code to make it more beautiful so just click here and type here padding and give padding start to 10 dp and padding end to 10 dp as well that's it now you can see the design of of our id let me zoom out this one that's it friend next inside this card view we will show the total amount of our order so just drag and drop a text view here let let me zoom in and before this text view we have to add a constraint layout inside our card view so just click on the card view and inside our card view create a constraint layout width match parent and height would be match parent put angle bracket next we have to click on design and drag and drop a text view here constraint with the top and with the left give margin left to 24 dp and margin top to 8 dp and give a text size text here total div and select text color purple underscore 700 and give a text size here from 14 sp to 10 sp next we have to drag and drop a text view here to show date to our user so just type here android colon text to date and text size from 14 sp to 10 sp constrain it with the right side and constrain its top with the top of our total view margin right would be 24 dp and select text color at the rate of color select purple underscore 700 next uh, give margin right to this text view 32 dp next pen drag and drop a text view here let me zoom in and uh, constrain its top and left with the right constrain its right with the right side of our date and give margin top to 8 dp and select a text here like 2008 2022 i just selected a random date here and select android colon text color select a color here so i am going to select black color for it that's it and next we have to put a text view for our type drag and drop a text view inside your card view constrain it with the right side of our date and constrain it stop with the bottom to our date select a text here like 1 colon 20 pm and select text style from normal to italic apply that's it friend and next we have to drag and drop a text view to the outside of our card view constrain it stop with the bottom of our card view and constrain it with the left side select a margin left to 24 dp and margin top to 8 dp and its text size uh, first of all select the text to title 
and its text size would be 10 sp its text color would be at the rate of color you can give your primary color here so my primary color is purple underscore 700 and friends give a margin top from 8 dp to 16 dp we just have to change the margins a little bit so we can improve the beauty of our user interface next again drag and drop a text view here and constraint it with the right side and constraint its top with the top of your title give margin right to 24 dp and its text size would be 10 sp text color your primary color and here give a text like i'm going to type here eur it means AOR, my currency next we have to drag and drop a text view here and constrain it with the bottom of the title and constrain it with the right side guys you have to do the same steps to make your user interface responsive inshallah it will be a responsive user interface you can give margin a uh, left 24 dp or you can do one another thing you just have to constrain your its left with the left to our title give margin top to 8 dp and select a text size for this text view like i'm going to select 18 sp text style would be bold text color would be black select add the rate of color forward slash black and give a text here like total food and drink you can give any title here and next friends we have to again drag and drop a text view here and constraint its right with the right side of your screen give margin right to 24 dp and constraint its top with the top of your this total food and drink text view select a text here like 3.20 select a text color i'm going to select the black text style would be bold and type a uh, so like we have already typed the text here that's it and we have to insert a same row at the bottom of our this total food drink so friends i just type here total food and drink amount and the delivery charges and at last we have to drag and drop a button here so suppose if the user want to print the invoice of this order he will be able to do this in my case i am assuming that i have attached a printer with my this app uh, like bluetooth printer and that bluetooth printer will be print the invoice of our this order so constraint its left and right with the parents and give margin uh, give width from wrap content to match parent and give margin right and left to 24 dp and constraint its top with the bottom of delivery charges and give margin top 24 dp that's it guys we have just designed a beautiful order detail page you can customize more according to your requirement but this is a responsive order detail page using constraint layout i hope you must enjoy this video and before closing this video like let me run the app so i can show you the output so friends here you can see that this is the output to my android app so i hope you must like this uh, beautiful design and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel and share this video with your those friends who want to learn android apps development and finally thanks for watching